How's it flying, guys? Lance Corporal Hawk 30 here. And welcome back to Ace Attorney Elements of Justice. Why the Caged Bird Sings. Now, I made mention early on at the last reaction to Elements of Justice that I had purchased the Switch version of the original Ace Attorney trilogy and was, had gotten started on it because the Turnabout Storm just impressed me so much. Uh, I can say, I can confidently. I can proudly state that I have completed the first two cases, including the Mia's uh, murderer stuff. All right, so I've completed that, and I still need to get back to the game. However, I am going to go ahead and do a reaction to the next episode of Elements of Justice. Now, this is thankfully not quite as long of a video to react to as the previous video to react to. So that's the, the reason why I'm doing it so late at night at this time. I should be done within a decent enough time to be able to edit another video I recorded earlier, or one of my fat electrician reactions, and then maybe get started uh, recording this while that other video starts uploading. But anyways, it seems that this also is the first video in the series that has recaps at the beginning. So, yeah, I didn't let it play for long. I was just curious. Oh, is that an intro or what? So it's it's recaps. So now I won't have to remember absolutely every detail necessarily. Off the bat, they'll give me the, the uh, quick rundown of the highlights. So that'll be useful if I ever go a long period of time uh, between reactions to this again, which hopefully won't happen as anywhere near as bad as it was previously, but you know, we'll see as we go. Anyways, Ace Attorney, Elements of Justice, Why the Caged Bird Sings, and this case is gonna go on for a while, like, I think there's at least nine episodes to case number two, so it's gonna be a while before we see a conclusion. Anyways, without further ado, Link to the original will be in the description. I'm just double checking my stuff. Will be in the description. Please make sure you guys have seen it before you watch my reaction to it. And with that out of the way, let us go ahead and go. Previously on Elements of Justice. Okay. Applejack! Twilight! Help! I'm telling you, I didn't do yeah, anything wrong! Scootaloo accused of would murder. Would it be alright if I let this case? My name is Private Eye. I'm the lead investigator for this case. And of course, Athena. The victim's name is Troy Order, a member of Princess Celestia's Royal Guard. That's uh -huh. Scooter! And that wagon! Those are Scootaloos! Yeah, that's so, why she's this accused. This is the Nightmare Nice Dash, you, huh? There really was more blood. And all the this blood in the front. Blood. You mean this case might have a second victim? We'll find yeah, that was the big Scootaloos innocence. End okay, revelation you there. You better, because if you don't, I'll find a way to do it myself, no matter what. It's a deal. Turn down just a tad. There we go. Ah, Rarity's place. Oh, Lordy. Right there, headed to see Sweetie Belle. Here we are. I remember this place. This is where I first met Rarity. Yep, the Carousel Makes Boutique. Sense. This is her house and shop, after all. Yep. So, Sweetie Belle lives with her? Not normally. Their parents are just out of town this week, so Rarity's yeah. looking after her until they get back. Alrighty. Oh, that's weird. The door's locked. Rarity must not okay. have returned here after the arrest. Uh, maybe not. Either that, or she just decided not to open up shop today. Well, hopefully, mm. Sweetie Belle's still here. I'm not sure where to start looking if she's not. Sugar Cube Corner, maybe? <laughs> Oh. Oh. Opalescence. Hi, Apple Bloom. Hey, Sweetie Hi. Belle. Could you let us in? We need to talk. Uh, sure. One second. Is she normally like this? No. 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 She's not. Something's not right. Hmm. I wonder, I wonder. What's Come on going? in. What's, uh, 
What's going on, sweetie? Are you a rat, sweetie Bale? Answer's gonna be no. Yeah, I'm fine. Who are these guys, Apple Bloom? Oh, uh, this is Mr. Rat and Miss Sachs. Yep. They're here to help Phoenix defend Skittaloo. You heard about how she was arrested, right? Yeah, I heard what happened from Rarity. Uh -huh. She came by earlier to tell me what was going on, but went back to Princess Twilight's castle to comfort Rainbow Dash. You didn't go with her? Well, uh, I wasn't feeling 100% this morning, and I couldn't get out of bed. Yeah. I well, smelled some BS. You're looking a lot better for some pony who can get out of bed a few hours ago. Uh-huh. Well, I guess it was just a passing bug. Yeah, that's a quick pass. Okay. Well, anyway, I wanted to come by and ask if you wanted to join us. Sorry, We're going to visit discomfort school. right here. Oh, uh, I, I don't really think it's a good idea for me to leave the house. All right, who's pulling one where over on you? I come home early and worry about where I am. Sweetie Belle, I'm sure she'll understand that you went to visit Scootaloo. Somebody's the pulling center. something with Sweetie. That's I can why tell she's myself nervous. if that makes you feel any better. Uh, what's going on, Sweetie Belle? You've been acting weird since we arrived. Very off, uh, very weird. You don't even want to go and visit Scootaloo? Sweetie Bale? Do you think Scootaloo actually did it? What? No, 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 no. I never said anything like that. I just, I, I'm just confident that at the end of the day, Scootaloo will be found innocent. Then why don't you want to go if see her? If you say so. Yeah. Excuse me. Uh, Sweetie Belle, was it? Yeah? Uh-huh. I've been looking around, and I couldn't help but notice that there's something a little unusual in your trash can. Oh, what did your eagle eyes see there, Phoenix? An assortment of leaves, vines, and branches. That doesn't seem like the kind of thing Rarity would have collected. Something from Can the Everfree? Any idea on what that's about? Oh! Oh! Guarantee! Yeah! The Cyclox! What's going on? Oh what? wait, so that's Athena's Cyclops? viewpoint. Wait, that's right. Are these the Cyclops that Mr. Wright mentioned? All right, start breaking them down if you can. Ah, uh, I'm suddenly not feeling so well no. anymore. I think I'm just gonna head back to bed. You should all go and visit Scootaloo. Don't worry about me. You know something, what Scoots. What do you mean? I thought you said it was a pissing bug. Apple Bloom, I think we should head out and give Sweetie Belle the space she needs. Especially if she wants to support Scootaloo with the trial tomorrow. That's a pretty we big secret for there to be to four. The I know that five anyway. is the max, so four okay, is Twilight. not a tiny number. If you say so. For keeping a secret. Yeah, Phoenix saw him too, didn't he? I'm sorry about Sweetie Belle, y'all. She know knows something about her. this. She's usually Or is not being like coerced it. by somebody that does. On look on her face, I'd say she's hiding something. Am I right, Athena? Yeah. Uh, huh? Yeah. You still have my Magatama, right? You never gave it back to me after you got it back from Turning Page. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry. Here it is. Nah, keep it. Or not. Thanks. So, tell me, did you see any locks appear when we were talking to Sweetie Belle? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I did. Are those the, uh, the Cyclock things you told me about? Sacklocks? Yeah. Do you see the stone here, Apple Bloom? Uh huh. This is called a Magatama. It's enchanted with spiritual power, and it lets the holder see the secrets that people, or ponies in this case, are hiding. Uh -huh. Those secrets take the form of Cyclocks, and the more that appear around someone, the deeper the secret they're keeping. And she oh, had four. I think I remember Twilight going on about some sort of yeah. locks the last time you were here. They never did explain yeah, the black that was locks. Because I accidentally absorbed some of that Magatama's power. 
I started seeing the, marks that were around all over the Trixie. Place. Does it well. did eventually wear off though. Wait. So Athena, you saw those sacko lock things on Sweetie Bale? Yeah. Yeah, four of them. When did they appear? When you asked her about that stuff in the trash can. Yeah. Hmm. I figured as much. So, since there were four locks, that means the secret she's keeping must be pretty She picked deep, on that huh? one up. Pretty Indeed. Good. And it must have something to do with the debris I found. She's gonna have to be asked but about Lama's that. The was just a bunch of twigs and leaves. What secret could she possibly be keeping about that? Oh. I don't know. But for now, we don't have enough evidence to pursue any sort of question with her. We'll have to come back to this later. For now, she was with in Scoots in the we forest. We report our findings to everyone there, and hopefully, your badge will be waiting for you, Athena. Yeah. Wasn't she? she? It was either her or Turning Page that was with Scoots in the forest. They had Rarity Silk in the forest in the scooter, so it was, it was probably it might have been Sweetie Belle. We're back. Oh, thank goodness. I was going to go crazy if I had to listen to another of Pinkie Pie's ridiculous songs. <laughs> Pinkie Pie is the one pony. My, so one of my be my best friend, he knows about the pony stuff, right? When I went to BronyCon, he is a big Fallout fan. So when I went to BronyCon, I found a piece of art that had uh, the Fallout pony stuff on it, right? It was like the... I can't remember what the character's name is. The default vault dweller... Uh, pony character, Pony OC, and showing like the wasteland from that pony, with that pony in the in part of the picture, and he's like, huh. I mean, it's ponies, but it's also Fallout. All right, you son of a bitch, give it to me. So I gave it to him, but he knows he knows about the pony stuff, and he has stated out of all of the ponies, <laughs> Pinky's the one he would want to kill. <laughs> It just makes me laugh my ass off. I'm like, oh, buddy, don't you want another party? He's like, no, give me the flaming wuffer. I will have enough. Like, I will not tolerate such bullshit. It's. <laughs> it gets funny when he goes on one of those rants. Yeah, he doesn't actually hate bronies because, like, I'm, I'm his best friend. But <laughs> it's still funny after those conversations. Like,. Oh god. If you Lance, if you ever find out one of those worlds is real, don't take me with you. <laughs> Actually, I'll send you with a nuke. Take care of things for me. <laughs> oh, come on, Polly. They're really catchy. Which is exactly <laughs> why I never want to hear her songs ever again. <laughs> if I have to hear her sing about making other ponies smile or whatever, I'm going to Come on, every pony. It's like something you play for little kids. <laughs> Please, just call me Apollo. Not happening, buddy. It ain't happening, Polly Polly. Apple Bloom, you know better than to run off like that without permission. I know Twilight was with you and all, but you should ask me first before you go gallivanting off on some dangerous investigation. They gathered investigation. important information. Remember what happened the last time you went off on your own? I know. I'm sorry, sis, but I really wanted to help Scootaloo. So, did you guys find out what happened? Did you find any evidence to prove that Scoots is innocent? No. Well, I can't really say we have a clear picture of what happened yet. And none of the evidence yeah. we found is at all decisive. They found evidence, but nothing that could really clear <sighs> I was her. afraid you'd say that. Don't worry, Rainbow. There's still the trial. More evidence and testimony will be presented there, as I'm sure you remember. We still have plenty of chances to get Scootaloo out of this mess. Yeah. Yeah, you're right, Twilight. After all, Nyx wasn't able to save me right away True. either. True. I just have to continue believing in him and Athena, and they'll work their courtroom magic, right? Absolutely. We'll do our best. Excuse me, would you happen to be Miss Athena Sykes? Who are you? Hmm? Who's this pony? New OC. Who she this? She was talking with everyone else when we walked in. Okay, so yeah, she was already that's there. Me. Who are you? Sugar Stamp, at your service, ma'am. Sugar Stamp. I have something for you. Mail pony. Here you go. An equestrian badge sent directly from the High Council. Wow, thanks. That was really fast. Good. 
goodness! Oh, you're kind. But if you must thank Simpony, you should thank the head of the High Council, Lockheeper Equity. Lockheeper Equity. Princess Twilight, Equity. you'll be happy to know that as soon as she got your letter, she immediately set aside all of her other duties to make sure this got to you as soon as possible. See? Very I good. Very you good. Special attention to a princess's request. Thanks for taking care of that for me. And Apollo's still like, but how do the, how do the fire burn and ladder want to no. get to transport? I can't believe the amount of clout Twilight has. She sure She went up against the devil, god do my dang. Eyes deceive me? Or is that little apple bloom over there? How do you know apple bloom? Hi, Mrs. Uh, Miss Stamp. Good to see you again. Mrs. Huh. Apple bloom. You know Miss Stamp? Yeah. OC backstory. She's always coming by Skittaloose Hills to drop off letters from her parents. Oh. Speaking of which, I heard from the others that Skittaloo got arrested this morning. The poor thing. Yeah. Yeah, she did. Don't worry, though. Mr. Rat and Miss Socks are gonna save her. Ah, so that's what the badge is for, then. Yeah. Yep. I can't exactly stand in court. I really hope one. this character I isn't see, involved in any of that mess. Best of luck for the trial. Because she seems so sweet. Scootaloo, you should give her this. It's another letter from her parents. I bet she could really use it. Yeah. Of course, Miss Stamp. And but why'd you say Mrs.? It's a Mrs. little treat for your trouble. Ah. Aw, Miss Stamp, you don't have to give us candy every time you come by. Well, she has sugar, Stamp. <laughs> don't be silly. It's the least I can do for the sweet children I meet on my travels. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I ought to be going now. I've still got plenty of other letters to deliver. See you around, everypony! Bye-bye! On Mare. I agree! Me too! And she's quite a fast flyer. She might even rival you, Rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's not get carried away here. We all know there's no pony faster than me. Mm. Well, no pony who's legit, anyway. What was that, Rainbow? Uh, nothing... So, uh, what did you guys spend out during was your that vacation? Oh, uh, was that a reference well, to the, f the, member of the Ace Royal guy for the first kid? Well, never. What? what? Yeah. Yeah, she that's right. The Everyone the else leading to the castle found out with the two sisters. later. The police think that Scootaloo killed a member of the Royal Guard? What? Circumstantial We're not evidence! Really sure what the motive they're going to put forth is right now, but they do seem to have some evidence that at least points to her. Her scooter was there. What do they have? Her scooter was found at the crime scene, and it may very well be the murder weapon. <laughs> That's not a good ridiculous. Look. How could a little filly like her kill a fully grown stallion? Pretty sure that's going to be something the prosecution will try to explain at the trial. Yeah, and question is, we'll be able to use are we getting to the trial in, in this story? episode? Because right. there's a lot of episodes. There's like a lot of episodes story. to this trial. By the but way, Rarity. There's something we need to ask you. Yeah, ask hmm? about Sweetie Belle and what the vines. What is it, Twilight? We stopped by Carousel Boutique on our way back here to check in on how Sweetie was handling this whole situation with Scootaloo. We couldn't help but notice that she was acting a little strangely, though. Would you happen to know why? Unfortunately, I haven't the faintest idea, darling. She's been acting like that ever since I got home last night. Really? Do you think something might have happened to her? I don't know. She won't tell me anything, and I'm not sure what she was up to at all yesterday. What with the trial and the party afterwards. Are Diamond Tiara and right. Silver Spoon involved? We were all preoccupied for the entire day. However, I did find something this morning that raised a few questions. The vines and twigs. I'm not sure if it's directly related to Sweetie's oh. recent behavior. A but note. A note was left in my shop last night, and it's from Scootaloo. What? Yeah, what that could be important. Here, you can read it for yourself. Give. Dear Miss Rarity, I'm sorry for what I'm about to do, but I'm taking one of your rolls of golden silk fabric, and I won't be returning it. I'm not able to pay you back in bits, but uh -oh. I'll do whatever you want to make up for it. I'm sorry, but I have to do this. Uh, that's not in well, her favor. What does that mean? It means Scootaloo stole a roll of golden silk from Rarity's shop last night. Yeah. Yeah, and that that's like what are you using for? That's very, she, very she uh wouldn't have. 
Suspicious. Right, Unfortunately, Rainbow, I'm afraid she And the silk did. was out there in the scooter. I checked through my stock after finding that note, and I discovered that one of my rolls of golden silk had indeed gone missing. Tell her that where you found and it. we know exactly where it ended up. Yeah. I mean, that roll of golden silk at the crime scene? It's a safe bet that Scootaloo was the one who brought it there after stealing it from Rarity. Somebody but put her up to it, didn't they? Why would she do that? Does Apple Bloom know? I think I might know the answer to that. R what what you, have your eagle you eyes do? detected? What is it, Mr. Wright? Let's go visit Scootaloo in the detention center. If I'm right, we can hear it straight from her. Then let's get going. Are y'all gonna start I'm busting through them Cyclops? Apple Bloom! Please, April Jack! I've gotta go see Scootaloo! She has to know I'm there to support her! <sighs> Twilight, what do you think? Let as the Philly see her us, friend! She should be fine. We don't plan on heading anywhere else anyway. Yeah, you've got multiple Normally, adults. Only those of immediate family or attorneys are allowed to visit the primary suspects on trial. But I should be able to get her in there. Please, Apple Jack! Oh, what kind of friend would I be if I didn't go support her? You're a good friend. All right, fine. You can go, but come straight back as soon as you're done. Yes. No more. Because we potentially got you hear two me? cadavers. Of course. And if we oh, got two see? cadavers, that means somebody's getting busy. Schools. Wow. Well, this place looks rather gloomy. I'd hate to be uh, locked up. I was in about here. to say it's well lit, but I yeah, get her point. It's depressing. It's not exactly the most pleasant experience, that's for sure. But that's why it's important we prove Scootaloo's innocence and get her out of here as soon as possible. Yeah. So this is going to be another episode of figuring stuff Scoot! out. Apple Bloom! Uh, hey. How are you holding up? Are they treating you fine? Yeah, I'm okay. Most of the guards have been really nice. Except for one. But they've got me locked okay. up in this tiny cell. I can't stand it. I need to get out and take my scooter for a joyride to stretch my wings. Don't you worry, About Miss Scootaloo. We're going to get you out of this. Aren't you one of those human things? E yeah. Yeah. I guess? Why would you say I'm I guess? Like, attorney. Yes. I'm here to offer my assistance and defend you in court. Are they seriously accusing me of murdering that stallion? Yeah. It looks that way. <laughs> Don't worry, Scootaloo. We're here to support you and get you through this. Hey! You're that human from last time, right? The one that held Rainbow Dash! Yes. I don't think we were properly introduced, were we? And my name she is came in at the tail end. This perky young lady is one of the lawyers who works in my law firm. Yep. Uh huh. No. Sykes is. So you're here to defend me, then, Mr. Wright? Oh uh, well, actually, Athena here was going to be the one to lead your case. I was just going to be her aide. Yeah, I was hoping. Hey, you're the one who saved Rainbow Dash, right? I want you to defend me. <sighs> Scoots. Scootaloo. Rainbow Dash agreed to let Athena handle the case. She, she did? Yeah. Uh huh. So I think you should at least consider. Good on you for bringing that up, Twilight. You. Uh, okay. Considering there's text on the screen, I don't know how often I need to pa actually pause it, but I don't want to constantly be talking over everything. Good job on Twilight's part for bringing up the fact that Rainbow Dash gave the okay to Athena, because anything that Rainbow. RD puts a stamp of approval on, Scoots is gonna go change her mind instantly. Like, oh, oh really? Uh, okay. Athena, Case in point. Don't you have some questions you like to ask Miss Scootaloo? <laughs> yes, she does! Uh -huh. Oh, right. Why'd you steal so, the fabric? Uh, Scootaloo, have your parents been here to visit you yet? They're out of town. No, and they probably won't be coming. <laughs> what? Why not? They're off on an assignment at the moment. My parents study dangerous creatures and rare plants. Their that, research okay. helps afford equestrian science and medicine. Because this 
Wow. This was being made after the show really Gen Force conclusion. <laughs> we have this Thanks. information about Scoot's Don't parents. Don't tell any pony I said this, but they actually used to be part of some sort of secret monster agency in Canterlot. Oh uh, yeah. When it was shut down years and years back, they moved to Ponyville and had me. They never lost their love for their job though, so they started assisting a bunch of research institutes with their studies. Unfortunately, that means that they don't really spend that much time with me. Yeah. So who do you live with then? My aunts for the most part, though there are some other ponies in Ponyville who agree to watch over me when my aunts can't make it to town. Yeah, that's right. I see. But I always write to my parents whenever I get the chance. I tell them what's been happening with me, and they tell me all about the exciting adventures they've been on. Oh, speaking of which, Scoots, Miss Stamp delivered another letter from them. She told me to bring it to you. Really? Thanks, Apple Bloom. Good job. Why don't you hand it over to that guard over there, Apple Bloom? He'll make sure it gets to Scootaloo. Okay, Twyla. Yeah, let her so, open it up. So, Scootaloo, did you know the pony that was killed? I... um... His name was Royal Order, a member of the Royal Guard. He had a son named Turning Page. Yes. I'm sure you remember him, right? He was the one battling against those guards for you earlier today. She's looking spooked. We met up with him again after that. You two have something in common, you know? You both have a parental figure you really look up to. Y yeah, I guess. Is... um... is he doing okay? Yeah. He's fine. For now. The death of his father has greatly impacted him, but he's strong. He's carrying on as best he can. It's a good thing Athena's That's in charge of this, because I would have done cut to the chase. So you must be close friends with him then, I take it? Most likely what I would have. You say that? Well, you're clearly concerned about him. Not to mention the fact that he was fighting off several guards in order to save you from being arrested. Do you have the fee-fees for the it young man, It gives off the impression Lou. that you're connected in some way. Am I wrong? He... Turning and I know each other, yes. But that's all. We're just acquaintances. We only see each other around the town. The indignancy in which she said That's that. All? Yeah. It's not that strange for fillies and coats living in a small town like Ponyville to be familiar with each other, right? I yeah, guess fair. not. Hold up, Athena. What is it, Mr. Wright? Scootaloo's lying. Huh? Yep. How can you. Wait. Yeah, the locks. Do those locks appear? Yeah, my Magatama activated. The same thing happened earlier today when she claimed that she had never gone to the Everfree Forest. You think her knowing Turning and her relation to this case might be connected? It gotta be! It's possible. Cyclox can appear whenever someone is hiding a secret of any kind. There is even a chance that multiple sets of locks could be unrelated, but I don't think that's the case here. Mm. I'm pretty sure the locks I'm seeing now are the same as the ones I saw from this Probably. Morning. If you don't mind, Athena, I'd like to take over Scootaloo's questioning for a moment. I'll see if I can't break these locks of hers. Have at it, my man! Sir, go ahead, boss. Thank you. Perspective change. Now, Scootaloo, tell me one more time. How do you know Turning Page? What? Well, I just told you, we're just acquaintances. We've barely interacted at all. Locks! <laughs> Three locks. Relation to turning page. Okay. Mid so three All locks, right. mid level. Time to see what secrets these locks are hiding. Your Sorry, scooter. Scootaloo, but I don't think you're being Your scooter next to the crime scene? The gold what? silk? You think I'm lying? He knows you're lying. He's got the magic thing that lets him know. Just a mere acquaintance to you. After all, he was fighting very hard to prevent you from being arrested. That's just the kind of cold he is. He wants to be just like his father. Protecting the innocent ponies of a question. That much may be true. And fighting for justice and peace. He'd do the same for any pony, right? True. Well. That alone isn't proof enough to say that he knows you all that well. However, you seem to know. Were you stalking about them, the little man? His ideals. The little cult? I don't think that's the kind of info you can just pick up on by virtue of living in the same small town. Hmm. You and he have not only met. But you've clearly had at least one conversation with him before. Yeah. Yeah? That's because we go to the same school! Uh, yeah. no, no, oh. no, 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 no. Yes! Ponyville only has one school, so we share some classes. 
that's how I learned all that stuff about him. Except he said I the hate first. I to break it to you, Skrulu. No. That's also not possible. He's. Why not? He said that was the first because time y'all met. Page doesn't go to school. That's right. That's well, right. Heard it straight from the horse's mouth, literally. So you couldn't have learned anything about him from there. <clears throat> Boys didn't go to school. How do you think we know each other then? I'm glad you asked, Skrulu. What do you got? Take that. Does this ribbon look familiar to you? Yeah. That's... It's the ribbon you gave to Turning Page after he stood up for you against a pair of bullies yesterday. <laughs> you and he became friends after that encounter. Isn't that right? First you gave gun? him this ribbon as a thank you gift. I bet both of you spent some time getting to know each other afterwards. That's why he was so concerned about you this morning. After all, you became close friends with each other just the day before. <sighs> yeah, that's what happened. Okay, there we go. One on After the right. After he stood up for me against those bullies, Journey and I hung out for a little while before his mom called him away. Okay. I gave him that ribbon to thank him for what he did. That's really all there is to it, though. No. Two remaining locks say otherwise. We're just getting started. No. Unfortunately, Scootaloo, I don't think that's really all that happened. What do you mean? We got two I'm more locks. That your connection with turning has some relation to why you were in the forest last night. Why are we still talking about this? I already said I never went Your scooter there. was there. And once again, I don't think you're being truthful with me. <laughs> if you don't mind me asking, what exactly were you being bullied about? Uh huh? I mean, it wasn't really anything all that serious. I could have handled things myself. Let me but guess. Turning came along and intervened. Nothing serious, huh? What? What is it now? Well, I was just thinking back to what Turning said, and how it proves that what you were facing was no little argument. Yeah. What do you mean? I'm confident that your little encounter with the bullies was far more serious than you're letting on. Serious enough to invoke a physical fight between you and them. Uh-huh. <laughs> no! There was no fight! We didn't... We didn't have to fight anyone! But Sorry, that's Scootaloo, not what but this Turning proves otherwise. said. Take that! Turning sword? Yeah, it Both broke. Both times we saw him today, Turning was carrying this sword. Yeah, but he always carries that sword around. It was a gift from his father. He bonks somebody very hard. And it's a testament to just how much he loves his dad. Seeing how he still carries it around, even though it's broken. It's broken? According to Turning, it broke <laughs> during the fight with the bullies yesterday. So, yeah. tell me, Scootaloo. If there really was no fight, then how did this sword break during the incident with the bullies? Break down the locks, Phoenix. <laughs> Alright, last lock. Tell me the truth. What happened between you and those bullies? Were they trying to get her to do I, something she didn't want to do? I... If you won't tell me, then I'll just have to show you with evidence. Evidence? This piece of evidence reveals the truth behind your encounter with the bullies yesterday. They were trying to get her to steal the golden silk. A piece of paper? Read what's written on it, and I'm sure you'll understand. Yeah, they were trying to get- they were the ones that no! got her to steal. You stuck into Carousel Boutique and stole one of the rolls of golden silk fabric. Yep, we know that because we, we found, found it. We found that golden silk in your wagon at the crime scene, attached to your scooter. I can only assume that means that you transported it there. Now why? Why did you do that? Why did you feel the need to steal from one of your friend's sisters and then take the stolen goods into the middle of the forest? Breaking the There's lock. only one answer I can think of. You were being blackmailed by these bullies, weren't you? Yep, logical. There and it is. And Page, valiant royal guard in training that he is, would never let you face them alone, would he? You and he entered the forest no. together that night to meet those bullies and make the drop off. But... That would... Yes, I know. That would contradict what you and Turning have already said. Both of you implied that there was only one interaction you had with them. But that's not the case, is it? No, it can't be. Not if that's what happened. In truth, you had two encounters with the bullies on that day. The first one was where Turning stood up for not just you, but the rest of the Cutie Mark Crusaders as well, correct? Yeah. What? That would explain why Apple Bloom has been acting a little off throughout the entire investigation. The three of you became friends with Turning after the incident, but the bullies weren't done with you. No. Later that day, they blackmailed you all, 
and that led to the second encounter where you and Turney went into the forest to settle the deal. It was uh, during this meeting that a fight broke out between you and mm, them. Does that hmm. sound about right? So th is that why Sweetie's acting dodgy? Wow. Hmm? You really are. Uh, she's got she the stars said. in her eyes. It's like, whoa. Okay, there we go. Cyclox broken. All right, open up. <laughs> Just the starry eyes, like, whoa. Scootaloo, are you sure you want to be telling them all this? She kind of has to. She's on oh, trial for murder. Can't hide it anymore, Apple Bloom. Uh, A B. Rainbow trusted Mr. Right enough to reveal our secrets to him. Yeah. Yeah. I think I should You kind of need to let the people trying to save you know as much as so possible so they can help you. We were blackmailed by these bullies you encountered yesterday. Yes, Kay. we were. If you don't mind, could you go over everything that happened yesterday starting with when you first and We're not even quite ones? halfway. Okay, hold on. Sure. It was around noon yesterday. Noon. We were already in Manhattan by then. So this is while everyone Sweet, was Apple gone. Plum and I were riding through town on my scooter and wagon, off to try and get our cutie marks and being explorers. Exploring what exactly? Anything and everything. Suddenly, we were stopped by these two fillies who go to our school. Diamond Tiara and Silverspoon. Bitch! Those names sound familiar. <laughs> All this work will pay off someday! Just you wait. My friends and I are gonna get the best, most amazing yep. marks any pony's ever seen. Diamond Tiara and Silver Spoon will be laughing at us. I'm iffy on their official cutie mark personally, but I'm not gonna delve too far into That's that right, right now. That's right. Apple Blue mentioned them earlier today. Those two fillies are always looking to tease us because we're the only ones in our class who haven't yet gotten our cutie marks. Mean girl, Morgan. We've pretty much learned to ignore. I have no them idea right why now. I phrased like it that yesterday way. Yesterday was different. So, what was their deal? Whoa! <sighs> hey there, blank blanks. Nice capes you got there. Whoever's the voice actor oh, for Diamonds got great. that voice down, Pat. Them in the most annoying way. Like, good What's job, going? but. Mm. Hold up. You're not even going to admire the view for a little while? Admire what? I can, I, I can see a pile of shit looking in my toilet. I don't need to see one walking on the street. Oh, sassy today, aren't we? We just thought we'd be kind today and let you three admire our new dresses. Aren't they gorgeous? Huh, my huh, mother got them huh. for us. Tailored just for the two of us by one of the biggest designers in Canterlot. Yeah, well, Sweetie Belle's sisters with one of the elements of Harmony, who is also a designer, who also makes dresses for the princesses. So ha! Up yours! Like you guys have clearly done with these drab capes. You two do realize that none of us are actually poor, right? Yeah. Yeah, in case you've forgotten, Diamond Tiara, your dad owes his current business to Sweet Apple Acres. Exactly! Us, you wouldn't and her dad is actually a right. decent pony. <sighs> My parents donated all the extra money they earned to help fund a ton of science and research projects that help equestrian advancement. Aha! Uh -huh. So, if it weren't for that, I'd be living in luxury, just like you two. <laughs> what I already so said! She's the one who made the fabric I used to create these capes. Oh, really? You think someone who makes fabric as shabby as this has any sort of future in? She knows huh? the gold and... What's that? I told you, it's the fabric my sister made. It took so long to make, but I think it adds... And just this is where the blackmail shit. idea comes in. <laughs> Whatever, we don't care. It would at just the right touch these new clothes. You'll let me borrow some, right? Why would yes? she do that? Not. This fabric is very special. Rarity only uses it for very important clients. Like I said, it takes a long time to make and it costs a lot oh, of money. And yet, she was willing to waste a good amount of it to make these horrendous capes for you three. <laughs> That's where you're wrong. I did it myself, actually. There you go. Oh, did you know? I see. You're about to try to tear one of them, aren't you? We don't have time to chat with you all day, Diamond. We got Crusader business to attend to. Yeah, we're going to get our cutie marks and being explorers. 
So, if you don't mind, we'll be on our way now. Uh-uh. Not so fast. Let me go, Diamond! No! Burn him! give me some of that golden fabric! Burn him! Hey, DT. I don't care if they're chitlin'. Okay. Think maybe you're going a little too... Hey, oh! Thank you! What the hey? You! Look at what you've done! Now it fits your personality! You'll get no sympathy from me. Only cowards would dare prey upon those less fortunate than themselves. Yeah! You have no one but yourself to blame. You! How dare you! I fought on your general direction! Then I shall be your opponent. The unjust deserve to be punished, and I will not allow any harm to befall the innocent. As a Good future job. member of the Royal Guard, this is the creed I stand by. <sighs> Come on, DT. Let's get out of here. Ponies are starting to stare, and I really need to get out of this dress. She's the only one of the two that even remotely <sighs> is kind of I'm similar. Or not similar. Uh, sensible in certain situations. This I'll give Silver Spoon over. some of that teeny bit of that credit, but she's still DT's freaking accomplice so and lackey. Do their parents know about how they bully you three? Silver Spoon's parents are doctors at Ponyville General Hospital. Okay, I don't know so if they, they were. I can't remember the actual lore behind their Spoon's parents. As for Diamond Tiara, her father's real busy managing his company, so her mother is the one who looks after her. And honestly, I don't think she really cares how Diamond no. treats us. No. That's horrible. No. At least turning was there that to help bitch. You. Don't give a damn. Yeah. I'm sure we could have handled the situation she ourselves. Use a but she could, showing up like that was she could use a flame awesome too. Him. So what happened after that whole incident? After Dem and Tiara and Silverspoon ran off. You Phillies okay? Yeah. They're better thanks. now that you're here, man. Wow. That was incredible. I've never seen some pony scare those two off so quickly before. It was no problem. Should Just doing what I can to help me out. There I picked up a you stick certainly gun. did that I'm much. Eat ya. What's your name? <laughs> a turning page. Nice <laughs> like... to meet you. I'm... I already know who you three are. You're the Cutie Mark Crusaders. How can anyone in town not, not know, know those three, even huh? without me? How do you know about us? Your feats of destruction are well known and well cataloged. And greatest heroes, especially if I live in the He's same being a lot more polite about it than I would like. Really, Rainbow Dash's sister. But you two are so close that you might as well be sisters. Thanks. Fair enough. So, you said that you are a future member of the Royal uh, Guard? Excuse me? Uh huh. My dad's a member, and I want to be just like him one day. That's why I practice with the sword he gave me whenever I get the chance. Pre -break. Have you guys ever been inside the Everfree Forest? It's such a thrill to take on the monsters in there. Wow, that's awesome. I kind of want to do the same thing, actually. <laughs> My parents go on lots of adventures <laughs> over Equestria, fighting demons. You youngins, and though! seeing all kinds of things ordinary ponies never get a chance to. Because a bit more fragile than an really adult. Brave. Thanks. I hope one day that they'll take me with them on an expedition, though. I don't really get to see them as often as I'd like to. I mm, understand. Yeah, that, that is feeling. unfortunate. My dad's always been given assignments. Kai. <laughs> Uh, it's not a one-to-one -one comparison, but growing up after the parents' divorce is uh, not always a good thing for a child. Especially when both parents do love the children involved, but only one of the parents gets all the uh, special rights, let's say. Yeah, my mom got custody just cause. Because that's just how divorce works here in America. Doesn't matter how good a man the father is the the mother will always get preference now my mom thankfully was not a drug drug addict or abusive or anything like that i do want to make that clear but there are some women that some mothers that are like that that still get custody of the child despite evidence proving otherwise that unfortunately is how it is and i wish that would cha change but Anyways, though, I relate to that feeling of not being able to see your father for a while, because even though I love living in Alaska, it meant that all of my family was down here in Georgia, and only got to see my dad one month out of the year per 
the divorce proceedings. And I was really, really young at the time. And so it's like, I wish that my mother would have relented and said, yeah, you can have the summer with your dad at the very least. That was like two and a half months. That way we, we have you the first couple of weeks after school's out and the last couple of weeks before summer break is over. At the very least, that's what should have happened, but it never did. She only gave us one month, one set of 30 days every year. Which cut her folks out of it, too. It, it, her folks were affected, too, because we in, only ended up seeing her side of the family maybe one weekend every year growing up as a result of that. So I absolutely get the feeling and relate to really enjoying the time spent with family. I don't get to see that often. But now that I'm living here, I get to see my dad a whole lot more often. I live closer to his, him and his side of the family than I do to my mom's side of the family. Although, uh, once in a while, I do still go over and spend time there. But anyways. So, he rarely ever comes home. And over the past year, for whatever reason, it's been getting worse. Well, at least you still have your mom, right? He don't get along she with his mother. She and I don't really get along all that well. Different Why ideals. That? Different ideals. She doesn't really want me to be practicing to be a royal guard all the time. She'd rather have me locked up in school. Wait, you don't go to school? Nope, never have, never will. I don't need school to teach me a thing. I can learn all I need to by getting out into the real world and experiencing it for myself. Aw, lucky. Hey, are you guys hungry? Why don't we stop somewhere and get some lunch? Good idea. We'll need to keep our strength up for when we go exploring. Hey, Turney, why don't you join us? I'd be happy to. Thanks. Were they all After at the that, Everfree? We ate lunch together at a nearby restaurant. Or was Skittle it? Skittle and Turnin really hit it off. <laughs> are my suspicions <laughs> correct? What? Come on. It was obvious. They are correct. They enjoyed each other's company. <laughs> Only reason we stayed at that restaurant for so long was because y'all couldn't stop talking. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> the more you try to hide it, the exactly. more obvious it gets. Just Toodaloo. admit it, you'll be less embarrassed that way. So what happened after lunch? See, that's the thing. For some reason, while we were talking, Turnin's mom showed up all of a sudden. Our devotion. She dragged Turnin away without saying much. We never found out what was up. Still, it was a shock to learn that his mom was our substitute teacher. Uh... No wonder she wants him to go to school. Wait, hold on. His mom works for the school? Uh-huh. She that teaches is class whenever an interesting Ms. detail. Is Not 100% huh. sure how relevant more that know, is, I guess. but yeah, exactly. More so, you know. what did you three do after lunch? Unfortunately, thanks to Scootaloo and Turnin, it was too late to go exploring like we wanted to. We went back to my place for a scheduled sleepover. And that's when the two brats showed up. And what time up, was that? It? I'd say it was probably around 3.30 p.m. Like she said before. 3.30. That was right around the time we got back from Manhattan. Yeah. Right. And we all went to the party straight after. Yeah, I had a feeling that was why Applejack wasn't home when we got back. Yeah. Hmm? As soon as we got back to Sweet Apple Lakers, we left our capes and Scootaloo's scooter in front of our clubhouse. We went inside my house to find Applejack, but no one was home. Big Mac wasn't even no around? One. What about Big yeah, Mac Yeah, Big Granny Mac Smith. or Granny Smith, at least. They're out visiting our relatives uh, in the hollow okay. shades. They've been pretty distant as of late, so we're trying to reconnect with them. Applejack was going to go instead of Big Mac, but she had to cancel last minute. Yeah, because so of the trial. So my brother had to go instead. Because of the trial. You didn't want to go? If I hadn't already made plans with the CMC, I would have. But it takes a couple days to if travel I'm to and correct, from Hollow Shades. I'm reading it. Not if I'm correct, the plan on only Twilight ever referred to them Apple as Jack the CMC. Applejack didn't cancel travel plans I just think. to welcome Mr. Right and the rest of us to this world. Did she? Okay, that's a it's possibility. It's not like we'd have minded if she said she was busy, after all. Anyway, since Applejack wasn't home yet, we decided to go back to the clubhouse and wait for her. That's when we found that the scooter, wagon, and capes had been stolen. So, oh. it happened during the few minutes that you three took your eyes off them. 
Yep. Dragon Tiara and Silver Spoon must have been watching us. Yeah. Waiting until we left everything unattended. So if they stole the scooter, the wagon, and the capes as part of a blackmail attempt, that must mean they left you a letter or something. Right? Yep. This one right here. There you go. Oh, it's in that style. Wait. Cut out letters from a magazine? People, uh, ponies actually do this? I thought this was a thing that only showed up in movies. <laughs> well, you'd be surprised the length someone will go yeah. to avoid having their identity revealed. Hey there, blank flanks. In case you're wondering, your scooter, wagon, and capes are with us. If you don't want them to be destroyed, come to the foot of the bridge leading to the castle of the two sisters at ten tonight with a roll of that golden silk fabric. If you don't, or if you bring any adults with you, the capes will be ripped to shreds, and the scooter and wagon will tumble to the bottom of the gorge? So those two might have been there as well! Is this what held you back at the crime scene, Apple Bloom? Yup. What do you mean, Twilight? I highly doubt that Apple Bloom has just been carrying that blackmail letter around ever since this morning. In fact, I think she picked it up from somewhere. And the only time I wasn't keeping right. this was just after we had left the crime scene. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Hold up. Where's Apple Bloom? Huh? She was right behind us a second ago. Oh, wait, okay. and the investigators didn't okay. find it? Apple that's Bloom. curious that the, the investigators didn't find it. Oh, sorry, Twa. I, I didn't realize y'all were leaving already. Yeah, there it is. Apple Bloom, you fell behind back then because you went to pick up this letter, didn't you? Where was it? Y yeah, yeah, that's right. I saw that. Okay, it was away. It was a bit a away from the crime scene. From the okay. Crime scene. But still, the I guards probably should have seen it. There, and that the police hadn't found it yet. So before they could, I took it with me. Apple Bloom, you can't mess with a crime scene like that. It's a crime. Sorry, Twa. I just wanted to protect Scooter. But now y'all can put blame on two Apple others. Bloom. Or at least bring into question. Well, at least we uncovered some new information. Yes. Right. The blackmail letter made its way to the scene of the crime. And that was because of you, right, Scootaloo? Y yeah. And Diamond Tiara and Silver Spoon were most likely there as well, so we can so, again. how did this all lead to Scootaloo going into the forest with turning? I don't know myself. When we found that letter, we decided it wasn't worth the trouble to go after Diamond and Silver. Not only is the Everfree Forest scary at night, oh, yeah, and trust know. me, I know, but there ain't even a guarantee that we right. get our stuff they back could be anyway. leading them on, like, They'd saying. probably try and make off with everything just to spot us. Yeah. But what about your capes? And the scooter. You can make new capes. Sweetie said that she could easily make new capes for us, just like she did before. And as for the scooter, Scootaloo agreed to let me build See, another one. See, they could make her. new ones. Build one? Uh huh. I'm mighty crafty when given the right materials. I even fixed up our entire clubhouse from one. It's that amazing her official cutie apart. mark didn't reflect that. Wow, that's impressive. Thanks. Anyway, after we settled on letting the whole blackmail thing go, Scootaloo suggested that we cancel the sleepover plans until and the next day. And that's why. She said it would probably be better if we were in our own houses until this whole thing blew over. Hmm. Sweetie and I didn't really get it, but we agreed anyway, and the two of them went home. That's all I know. Yeah. So, Scootaloo... It looks like it's up to you to tell us what happened next. Yep. Why did you obey the orders on the blackmail letter despite you and your friends agreeing to ignore it? Good question. The truth is, I never really wanted to ignore the blackmail letter. I could letter. buy that. I could buy that. But when that. Sweetie Belle and Apple Bloom said it wasn't worth fussing over, I didn't feel right asking them to go along with it anyway. I could buy that too. I lied to them and said I agreed to leave it be so that they wouldn't have to get involved. And then, Turning found out. I suggested canceling the sleepover so that neither of them would notice me leaving that night. Yeah. What? Scoots? Why would you do that? Pride, maybe? Because I couldn't lose my scooter. 
Huh? But I said I would make you a new one. Was a it a gift from her one. parents? I know. But you don't understand. That gotcha. scooter. That was a gift from my parents. I couldn't let it be destroyed. Yeah. I'm sure you understand, right, Apple Bloom? I get it, Scootaloo. Mm. And so this is why you got turning involved. Yeah, you need to He knows the help. exactly how you feel when it comes to something sentimental your parents gave you. So you asked him to help you get it back. Yeah. What he said earlier that day left an impression on me. Oh, we can tell, Scoots. We can absolutely uh -huh. tell. My dad's a member. And I want to be just like him one day. That's why I practice with the sword he gave me whenever I get the chance. Have you guys ever been inside the Everfree Forest? It's such a thrill to take on the monsters in there. Turning and I are very alike. But there's one big difference. He doesn't get scared like I do. Yeah, you needed That's someone... to be ashamed of, though. Fear you needed someone that could hold their own situations. and could back you up. Help, pr help bolster you your own courage. Hurt yourself or others. I know. Trust me, I had to learn the hard way. But because I was scared, I didn't want to go into the Everfree Forest by myself. And since I didn't want to get Sweetie or Apple Bloom involved, Turning was the only other pony I thought I could turn to. But, okay, so those because two if for sure. Because Silver saw you showing up with an adult, they would have destroyed the scooter right away. Exactly. Even Probably. then, though, I still hadn't made my mind up to ask him. Just like with Sweetie and Apple Bloom. I didn't want to risk hurting turning either. Then what made you change your mind? It was that ribbon I gave turning. The ribbon? Rainbow Dash was oh, yeah. the one who first gave me that ribbon. She said it was the ribbon she got for winning her very first race. Oh really? The one where she got her cutie mark. Really, really. What? She gave you something as special as that? Yeah. It was when I had to face a fear of mine. That there's a chance I may never be able to fly. Wait. You can't fly? No, not yet at least. I'm still holding out hope that I will one day though. But even if I don't, I know I'll be able to handle it now. And because I realized that, I was able to help my friends win a very important contest. That yeah. ribbon is a reminder from Rainbow that I overcame. Yeah, the one, one with she the said wing it stuff. Pride, guts, and a certain don't give up nest that every pony should have. And most of all, it represents the courage to stand up and do something awesome for yourself and your friends. Wow. Rainbow really said all that to you? <laughs> she never admitted, of course. But she can be pretty sweet when no one's watching. Yeah, true. So, <laughs> seeing that ribbon again gave you the courage you needed to go into the forest? Yeah, I took the ribbon with me for the same reason. The first place I headed was Turning's house. I already knew where his mom lived, so yeah. I figured he'd be there. And was he? So what is this yeah. music playing in the background? Is that from Phoenix Wright or from I told something him what else? Happened and that was all it took to get him. Because it's some good ambient he music. To just go after them right then and there. That guitar hits but so so sweetly. That we'd be better off if we at least got what they were asking for first. And that's what led to you stealing from Meredith's store. I'm really sorry that I did, but I didn't really see any other option. Yeah. I couldn't just ask Sweetie for it, otherwise she would have known what was going on. How did you pull off the theft without her noticing? I can't imagine it was easy to sneak by her and steal a whole roll of fabric right from under her nose. Yeah, how'd you do that? Actually, it was very easy. Oh, do tell. Really? Turning was the one who came up with the plan. Since he's never been inside Carousel Boutique, he decided that he would lure Sweetie out by getting her to come outside to talk and lead me to find the fabric. So I went in okay. behind her back and started poking around. After finding the fabric and leaving the note in Rarity's bedroom, I left. The whole thing took less than five minutes. Sweetie never suspected a thing, according to Turning. Huh. That was deceptively simple. Occam's Around razor. what time was all of this happening? Simplest well, thing. I spent a the few most hours obvious thing sometimes. Just thinking about is that Occam's I razor? I think it is. All this or not. And then I had to go ask Turning to help me. It was probably around 8 p.m. 8 p.m. 8 p.m. The party was still going on at that time, although Applejack and Fluttershy had left. Okay. Rarity and Rainbow were still there, likely thinking that Sweetie and Scootaloo were still having a sleepover with Apple Bloom. Probably. The two of us went back to our homes after we got the fabric. We agreed to meet up at the entrance to the forest around 9.20 p.m. And when that time came, 
You went inside the yeah. forest together, right? This is where the time frame yeah. for how long it takes Before to get each part in, of though. the thing, part of the forest, though. You ready, Scootaloo? You brought the fabric? Yeah. Why don't you let me carry it? That way, it won't hinder your movement. In case you need to run or something. Okay. Are you alright? You're shaking. Nerves. I'm just a little scared. I've never been in the Everfree Forest at night. Applebloom told me it's so dark you can't see a thing. Spooky! Don't spooky! Worry. Spooky! You won't have to be afraid tonight. Look up. Good, good. It's a full moon. The path throughout the forest will be completely visible. Plus, you've got a unicorn by your side. True enough. I can cast an illumination spell for us, just in case we have to head off the path and into the trees, where it will be too dark to see what's in front of you. Wow, Turning. You really are very brave. <laughs> Good kid. That just comes from all the training I do. I used to be scared of these woods once too, you know? But what kid would I've it be? since taught myself to never be afraid of anything. No matter who or what we find in there, we'll face it together. Thanks, Turning. Um, if you don't mind, would you take this? The metal. What's that? It's a ribbon. I got it from Rio ribbon. Dash a while ago. It's supposed to represent the courage one has to do something awesome for yourself and your friends. It's from Miss Dash? Well, I can't take this from you then. And besides, with the way you're trembling, it sounds like you're going to need it. No, I want you to have it. But why? Well, as thanks for earlier today. If we're standing by my side now, She's for one. Got some but feelings for you, son. I want you to have it so that you don't forget that while you're in there, you've left an impression on the young lass. To moving forward, to me, you represent everything that ribbon stands for. So as long as you don't forget it, I'll be fine standing by your side. Thank you, Scootaloo. I'll take good care of it. Well, are you ready? This to music go? is just pulling me into a yeah. rhythm here. Let's go. After that, we entered the forest, right around 9.25 p.m. I'm impressed, Scootaloo. That ribbon meant so much to you, and you were willing to give it up to inspire courage in someone else. I knew he didn't really need it, but it made me feel better by believing my gift would make sure he stayed his confident, courageous self while we were traveling through the forest. So, what happened after you entered? Yes, share. Well, all right, that's enough. This visit is over. Damn it! What gives? We still have questions to ask. The prosecutor in charge of this case needs to question the defendant as well. You've had plenty of time to talk to her. Not enough to get to some of the really important info. And who is the prosecutor assigned to this case, if you don't mind me asking? Yeah, who? That is none of your concern right now. You'll find it was out blue blood last time. Tomorrow. Please, can't we just ask her a few more questions? Pull that princess rank. <laughs> I'm sorry, princess, but no. Now that a second arrest has been made, the prosecution has demanded second arrest? that they speak to both suspects immediately. Number two? Who? A second arrest? Someone else is suspected of having murdered the victim? That's correct. Who is it? Turning. <laughs> See for yourself. You are entirely too smug about that, you asshole. It's Damn it! Turning! Wait, you can't seriously be suggesting... Indeed You're the suggesting the second suspect he killed his own father. The victim's death is none other than his own son. You are entirely pain. too smug about that possibility, as this remote as it is, you a-hole. Are you seriously telling us that Turning is suspected of killing his own father? Turning would have never done something like that. He loved his father. What exactly was the? Basis yeah, I'd like to know arrest? that too. An anonymous tip was mailed to the police station just a little oh, while ago. Oh! Oh! Well, the say? initials are the initials the DT and SS. There was another pony in the forest with Scootaloo on the night of the crime. Are the initials DT and SS? Those. Witness, <laughs> turning ourselves, we confirmed the tip's validity. Fire! Both of them. <laughs> who? Who made that tip? You do know what anonymous means, right? I do. No. I don't know damn well who did! Those bullies! I know it was them! Yeah! Now then, come on, kid. I'll let you say your goodbyes, but hurry up. You don't want to make the prosecutor wait. Yeah, and who's McJagoff in this? Yes? Whoa. 
I don't think I've ever heard a child sound so angry before. Charlie Page is innocent! You believe that, right? Of course. Yeah. So you'll defend us both then, right? Hold on, Scootaloo. Didn't you say that you were going to give Athena a chance? Yeah, but the situation's changed now. I want to have someone who I know I can trust to defend Turning Page. And you don't trust me? Yeah. Uh, I didn't mean it like that, okay? I just meant that I know and, Mr. Wright's got what it takes. And Phoenix I trusts can't Athena. To take any risks. Not when Turning's life is on the line. Scootaloo. Besides, Mr. Wright's already defended twice before an Equestria, right? He probably knows best how to handle all But your children that don't think the same Actually, way. Actually, Scootaloo, you're wrong. Yeah. The situation has changed, but there's one aspect in which I think only I can understand when it comes to this case. The death of a parent. The way things are now, with turning under suspicion of his father's murder, she, I can confidently she's been through say that. I know how she's best been to deal through with that. This. Not only from a legal standpoint, but also a psychological one. And personal. What? What do you mean? Not long ago, I was in the same place as Turning. I was suspected of having killed my own mother. What? It got to the point where even she herself was convinced that she did it. And while I was the one who defended her, I can't deny that I felt a little overwhelmed by it all. Throughout my years of learning, never had I dealt with a situation so psychologically precarious as that. I'll bet. I know better than anyone not to underestimate Athena's knowledge of psychology and the ability to connect with others. After all, it's one thing to save others from being put in prison. It's something else entirely to be able to save them emotionally. What you kids that need is that jag off of a guard. To. Better not rush someone this. Someone who can empathize with your situation. I want you both to put your complete trust in me. Wait, Athena? It. You aren't suggesting... I am. I'd like to handle this case by myself. Without counsel? Are you sure you're up to leading a case solo, Athena? I am, Mr. Wright. Is that okay? She Only two of us here get to decide that. What do you say, Scootaloo? Turning? Trust in me, you. and I promise I'll get you both off the hook, and I'll find the true culprit behind this heinous crime. All right. I'll trust you, Miss Sykes. What about you, Turning? If that's what Miss Scootaloo wants, then I'll trust you as well. Whatever it takes to make sure she gets out of this. A real gentleman. Thank you, you two. It's okay. Refusing two offers in one Cole, day whatever. isn't exactly a great idea anyway. Wait, someone already came down here and offered to defend you? Who? Yeah, it was right after I got arrested. Wait a minute! Was it, uh, 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 what's her name? What's her name from the first case? From the, right from power, Turning Storm. So I turned them away. Who was it? What was her name? I didn't catch her name, but she was a dark- Yeah, her! Ah, uh, what was her name? An eyeball for a cutie mark. What was her name? What is it? Sonata! Why do you two suddenly tense up? It, it's nothing, Athena. Are you really going back to the tell Athena nothing game? <clears throat> okay, that's more than enough. Fuck you! I think it's time for everyone to leave. Yeah! We better get back to my castle now. We'll have to rest up for the trial. <sighs> okay. See you tomorrow, you two. Wait! Hold on! What? <sighs> what is it? Um... I've been wondering this for a while, but where's Sweetie Belle? Uh oh. Hmm. D T and S S have um, their hooves in that too, don't they? She said she wasn't feeling well, so she couldn't come down here to support you. Oh. Okay. Well, yeah, I. That's some disheartening. Hope she gets better. Info for sure. Mm -hmm. Even though it's a lot we of balls. We may have dodged the bullet for now, but we're going to have to confront the real source of this issue soon. Yeah. I can feel it. Until I have a grasp on exactly what's going on, though, we better not pursue it any yeah. further. 
It wouldn't be good to hurt Scootaloo when she's already suffering yeah, so much. Y'all are gonna have to confront Sweetie about what's going on with her. Gonna have to. Don't worry. All right. You just have to hang in there till tomorrow. Miss Sachs will save both you and Turnin. I promise. Yeah. Okay. Bye, Apple Bloom. Goodbye, Scootaloo. AB's a real one. I'll see you tomorrow. <sighs> Stressful. I am curious who this prosecutor is, though. Oh, Scootaloo! Is she holding up okay in there? Scootaloo is doing all right despite the circumstances. <laughs> She's a courageous filly, and she's staying strong while going through this. A lot more nuance going well, on here about now. Well, that's good to hear. At least, hopefully, they're treating her well at the detention center. Other than one jag off for the most way. part. Although our meeting was cut off when the guard had to take her away to be questioned by the prosecutor, mm, pretty rudely too. Yeah. Right. Joy. The prosecutor. We still have no idea who it's going to be. Twilight? Yes, Athena? Do you think you'll be able to gather any info on who I'll be facing tomorrow? You can count on me. Good job. Thank you, Twilight. We, we're gonna find out before all this episode's right, over, Cube, I hope. I think it's time we went home. You've been out all day and you need to rest. Yeah, okay, sis. But before we head back, can we pass by Carousel Boutique? I want to tell Sweetie Belle what's been happening. Right. I almost forgot about all yeah. that. Yeah. It doesn't take a genius to figure out there's something going on with her. I mean, Mr. Wright's Makatana yeah, confirmed that she's fighting something. Yeah, but she had more Cyclops so, around her than Scootaloo did. Why was she so Scootaloo hesitant did. to help Scootaloo? Does she really suspect her? I don't I'll go think with you so. Two. It's about time I head back home anyway. Especially with Sweetie Belle in her current state. Oh, the poor thing said she couldn't even get out of bed this morning. Huh? Hold on a second. Where are Fluttershy, Pinkie Pie, and Spike? And Apollo and... Spike headed out oh, just there. after you guys left for the detention center. I asked him to go check in on Sweetie Belle for me. I suppose he must still be with her. You Good just you, missed Pinky and Fluttershy too. They mentioned something about continuing preparations. And then after saying with goodbye... With Pinky, I assume party, but Fluttershy involved, I'm not sure. For what? She's gonna say. <sighs> not another party, I hope. Maybe. Uh, anyway, darlings, I wouldn't roll it out be there, heading Apollo. home now. Oh. No worries, Rarity. Polly. You go check up on Sweetie Belle and get some rest yourself. See you at the trial tomorrow. You too, Applejack and Apple Bloom. Good night, darling. Good night, night darling. Best of luck tomorrow. Is something wrong, boss? It's nothing, really. I was just thinking about what Skulu was telling us before well, not, we got the detention not center. Not nothing. Oh? You mean about that other defense attorney who came to see you? Ah, her? yeah, Sonata. At least someone is telling me something this time. Wait, someone else already- By the way, Twilight, give Athena a copy of some book that has some basic information about the stuff in your world, because she's just been asking questions and keeps getting blue-balled about it. Give her something that she could do a quick read-up on, like, oh, so that's what Nightmare Night is all about. Okay, oh, that was the castle of the Twin Sisters. Oh, that's all who Celestia and Luna. Oh, that's this, 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 and this! At the very least, get, let the lady get some answers. He came by the detention center to see Scootaloo? Yeah, but she turned her down because she was waiting for Phoenix. Not exactly the wisest decision, in my opinion, but I understand where she's coming from. What do you mean, Twilight? Wouldn't it make sense to have a lawyer you're familiar with, rather than a True, stranger? True, but... Yes, but what I'm saying is that the fact that any pony offered to defend her at all is, in itself, a miracle. Yeah. How so? Because defense attorneys in Equestria are loath to defend some pony accused of murder. I learned that the hard way the last time Phoenix was here. Uh, However, I'm pretty sure this defense attorney is not like most others. Yeah, I got personal experience. Do you know her? her? Not you as a defense attorney, but yes, we've met before. Who are they? Sonata. <laughs> Sonata? Where have I heard that name before? Wait. Didn't you mention her before? When we first got here, 
Something yes. Something about how she was arrested last time Mr. Wright was here? Yep, he That's right. cleared her of she murder, too. She was released too. from prison about a year ago, but I had no idea what she was doing up until now. Defense attorney! So she became a defense attorney? Maybe she was inspired by you, Daddy! Yeah. <sighs> Wouldn't that be something? Yeah, I mean, logical enough conclusion. Regardless, I don't know why she would be trying to take on a murder case like this, but Scootaloo was taking a big risk in turning her down. <laughs> yeah. It's a good thing she did. Oh boy. R rainbow? What do you mean? Because Sonata Nothing. got rainbow. I think I'm gonna head home now, Twilight. Seeing all of the trial tomorrow. It's because Sonata <laughs> had a hand. Rainbow? Hoof and Whoa. rainbow being caught response? up in all that crap previously. Looks like I'm not the only one who's noticed how antagonistic that seems. Yeah, rainbow can hold a grudge. I guess the only way I'm going to find out the reason for it is by asking them about the case. But that'll have to wait until another time. I have my own case to focus on. Defending Scootaloo and Turning Page. Yeah. Two kids' fates rest in my hands. I... I can do this! I know I can. But... What'll happen if I fail? Hey, Twilight? Um... What is it, Athena? What's the severity of punishments for ponies that commit crimes? Uh, banishment. Well, for the most part, disagreements usually resolve themselves relatively quickly. But with most Moida... crimes that are taken to court typically carry light sentences, which usually amount to community service of some kind. More serious offenses could see you locked up in prison for a set period of time, though. Uh, how about murders? What would be the punishment for those found guilty? Well, as you know, murder is... Mostly unheard of until recently. The most serious punishments tend to result in banishment outside yeah. of Equestria. These range from expelling them from Equestrian borders, locking them up in Tartarus, or even sending them to the sun or moon. Wait, what? The sun? Yeah. Yeah. Equestria is a pretty peaceful place, and most ponies. Yeah, but it's the fact you said the thing. sun. She's thinking because they're gonna get incinerated. Is the best deterrent to ponies doing something really bad, like murder. Athena. What's wrong? Yeah, you're looking really pale at the moment. Athena decided to take this case solo, so I won't be up on the stand with her tomorrow. Oh. Okay, but I'm well, sure Trucy's you'll be just, just like, fine oh, defending uh, Scootaloo okay, tomorrow, whatever. Athena. Not just Scootaloo. Widget. Uh, Athena? We just found out before we left the detention center that they've identified yeah. a second suspect in the case. No bueno, no good. Second suspect? The victim's son, Turning Page. What? Two yeah. defendants in one case? And children at that. Yeah, I, I get it. Oh, what was I thinking? <laughs> Two yeah. defendants? Yeah. I mean, you, you've got Widget, yeah. though. Widget's got to account for something, kill, right? What does Widget do? What all does Widget do? Can, can Widget help you? Why'd you take on two clients? I'm sure there's a good reason for it. You wouldn't normally be so reckless. It's because... I know what it's like to be a kid caught up in a murder trial and being accused of murdering their own parent. I know exactly <sighs> the kind of toll both these things can take on you, and I want to be there for them. Not just as a lawyer, but as someone that can empathize with them. I meant every word I said back at you're the detention center. You're a good person center. for that, Athena. But you're also Beyond worried about what will happen if you fail, right? Yeah, understandable. You shouldn't worry about failing, Athena. You need to focus on how you'll save them. Put well, you all have your energy into fighting at least. for both Scootaloo and Turning Pages. Like, at least have can. Twilight up on that stand if with you. If you do that, I just know you'll come out on top. And hey, you said it yourself. You're the best fit out of all of us. Trucy's right, Athena. Keep your mind on what's important. Proving your client's innocence. Uh, thanks, guys. Boss? Yeah? Is this alright? Do you trust me? I mean, not even you've taken on a case with two defendants at the same time before. Right? I trust you to make the right call when it comes to our clients. I can see how much this case means to you. And if you genuinely believe that you should be the one to handle it, then you have my full support. <sighs> Good job, Phoenix. Thank you, Mr. Wright. I won't let you down. I promise. We should probably get some rest soon. 
We've got a big day ahead of us tomorrow, after all. Yeah. Agreed. It would be nice if y'all got one more piece of information, though, at least. Okay, so, so same night, not tomorrow yet. Mm. Oh, tomorrow's the big day. Just gotta give it my all. Don't want to let Scootaloo and Turning Page down. Oh, quiet you. You've caused me a lot of trouble today, you know that? Talking to yourself? Oh, uh, Twilight. Well, not really. Uh, that was just Widget. He has a habit of saying what's on my mind. Definitely got me into a few uncomfortable situations with some less than pleasant individuals. Yeah, I can see how that might be a bit of an issue. So... I heard you talking from down the hall, and I came up here to see what you were doing up so late. Mind Especially racing a million miles a minute! Tomorrow. I've just been thinking a lot. Not only about the trial, but also about me in general. A lot of self-reflection I guess with the trial, it has something to do with defending Scootaloo and Turning Page? You got it. Yeah. I could tell that neither she nor Turning Page are really confident that I can save them. <laughs> and... It's okay, Turning. Like your mom said, we'll find a way to prove Scootaloo's innocence and bring the real killer to justice. You... you will? I will. I promise. Okay, you better, because... If you don't, I'll find a way to do it myself, no matter what. Hold on, Scootaloo. Didn't you say that you were going to give Athena a chance? Yeah, but the situation's changed now! I want to have someone who I know I can trust to defend Turning Page! Hmm... What? I didn't mean it like that, okay? Not the best way to phrase it. I just it. meant that I know Mr. Wright's got what it takes. I can't afford to take any risks. Not when Turning's life is on the line. Hmm... <laughs> I mean, I'm still a defense attorney. This trial shouldn't be that much different from the last one. It's totally different. There are two defendants. Okay, that's enough from you. <laughs> I get where you're coming from. There's the expectation from Scootaloo, and to an extent turning page, that you can pull out a win, even when everything is stacked against you. I don't doubt that you'll show everyone what you're made of. I'm Under certain pressure. that you're an incredible dun, 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 defense dun, dun. attorney, Athena. Dun, 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 dun. But that's just it. I'm not. I kind of suck. Why would you say that? Because it's true. Scootaloo and Turning Page were right to be wary of me. I've only actually let one case from start to finish before, and I needed so much help. Only one! Athena. Want to know something? I didn't even want to be a lawyer when I was a kid. Really? Yeah. The main reason why I studied law and psychology in the first place was because I wanted to save a dear friend. He was accused and convicted of murdering my mother when I was younger, and I studied as hard as I could so I could free him. That big case that Mr. Wright mentioned before was when he was finally acquitted. Okay. Looking back, if things were different and none of that ever happened all those years ago, I'd almost definitely not be standing here right now. What would you be doing? I don't know if it was fate or whatever, but I feel like I only really pursued a career in law because I had to. Hmm. I get it. Yeah, huh? she would. Following a calling because you had to, not because you wanted to. I yeah. get it. Yeah, it's like in it's the last the episode when she was being talking a princess. about. I miss the days before I became one, when I was able to learn about the magic of friendship while also being able to pursue my own interests. But ever yeah. since I became a princess, I've been given so much responsibility to bear. It's a far cry from when I was still Princess Celestia's student. Very different. I'll never be able to go back to those days at the Golden Oak Library, simply spending time studying or being with my friends. I've been given the duty of a princess when really, I don't know if it's something I ever really wanted. Being forced into a profession because you felt obligated to do so? 
burdened by others' expectations to act accordingly and lead this by example. This is their connection moment. Because you know there are those you can't afford to let down. That they drive the point home for me. <laughs> you know, the two of us are more alike than I believe either of us thought. I think that just well, made very evident. I certainly never thought I'd be able to relate to a pony from another world. <laughs> yeah, that's a statement. Let like, a wow, princess. I relate to a horse. Twilight? Yes? What do you say about being my co-counsel for tomorrow's trial? I thought you wanted to go solo. I did, <laughs> but but she needs help. I might as well just admit that I'm in over my head at this point. I'm nowhere near Apollo's level, and especially not Mr. Wright. So Apollo's pretty good. I feel like if I don't take on cases, that I'm never going to catch up to them. I know that sounds Now I'm curious to know what Apollo's case in this line. world is going to be like. Like you said, you and I are more alike than either of us thought. I think you might actually be the perfect partner for me. With you by my side, someone whose experience with the law is equal to mine, I feel like I can still prove myself. Without worrying, I'll be putting those kids in danger just for my own selfish interests. So, Twilight, will you stand with me in court tomorrow? Say less! Of course I will, Athena. <sighs> well, I'd better head to bed. I've got to be well rested for the trial tomorrow. Yeah, both yeah, do. Yeah, I'm gonna head back soon as well. Just gonna stay out for a couple Is of minutes. Is Widget gonna speak up? Don't stay out too no, long. Not this time. Good night, time. Athena. Good night, Twilight. Night, Princess. Wait, Twilight? Why were you up so late anyway? She's got something on her mind what? as well. Oh, uh, I just... I couldn't get to sleep. That's all. The nose smells bullshit! What? Her voice is... shaking. Anyway, I'm sure I can get some shut-eye now. Good night, Athena. I'll see you. So where are we gonna find uh, out? All right, Twilight. Twilight's see you tomorrow. secrets about the whys of certain things, like why she called Phoenix again. Twilight, are you <laughs> hiding something? She got five locks at the end of the third episode of the first case. Five locks on her. Zakora. Zakora's in the next one. She's not the prosecutor. Okay, better turn this down. Okay. Oh, my ears. Oh, so sweaty. Ah. <laughs> okay. So. With this being, well, there's like a... There's an after credits. Okay, I'm gonna get my as much of my thoughts out as I can here before we get to those after credits parts. Um, so obviously Athena already made the agreement. Okay, I'm gonna do it solo. Then kind of realized how in over she had her was got Twilight. So and turning pe page is now being accused alongside Scootaloo, which is not good. But it makes sense to a degree why he's also being accused because. He was there with Scootaloo that night, but I can guarantee we all know, even those who haven't watched ahead yet and are watching along with me for the first time, we know who sent in that anonymous tip. Those two. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Lord, get me the fire. We're going to burn some horse tonight. It's a good thing I don't know if gasoline is a thing in their world, but I can find something that'll help me burn them. I don't like those types. Those types meaning like Tiara and Spoon. Ending cutscene. Okay. Royal Court. Are we going to see who? Uh, hello? Oh, Sonata! So, she turned down your request to defend her? Yes. Instead, she and the new suspect have opted for one of those human attorneys. And what of the princess? It seems as if she will be aiding the defense once more. Are you the prosecutor? So what will you have me do now? 
I hate to say it, but it's starting to look like we won't be able to keep these secrets much longer. Indeed. For now, return to Ponyville and continue the investigation on your end. The guards will not bar you from the scene so long as you have my permission. Yes, ma'am. Okay, and who are you? Are you a captain of the guard? Or something? Equity spot. Oh! <laughs> Lawful equity? Uh, equity, yeah. Okay, so you're the head lawmaker. You're the head honcho of the legalese in town. I see. Very interesting. Very interesting. Well, the most. So this ending part is the most replayed. All right. Forgive the fan noise. But it's hot. I need to cool down. That's a lot of info to digest. Fortunately, it wasn't as much. It wasn't as long. But we learned some stuff. Especially from Scootaloo. So she was being blackmailed, and that's why she would have been out there at that time. The fact that she went in shortly before the crime took place is not good in her favor, obviously. Same with Turning Page. Cool. Question is, Diamond and Tiara and Silver Spoon have a hoof in being there. Like, if they actually showed up, they would have had a hoof in it somehow. However, would they... I doubt that those two would have been able to pull off killing Royal Order. I do doubt that. I hate them. They're good as characters. You know you know what I mean? Like, they do the, jo the character job well enough. I, I don't like the characters, but that's what their job is to be. Their job is to be unlikable, right? So, and good on the voice actresses for both of them for getting that down, for nailing that aspect of Diamond Tiara and Silver Spoon. So, I don't think those two k kids would have had it in them to murder. I don't think. But they know something. They've got to. They, and, and I guarantee, they were the anonymous tip. There's just no ifs, ands, or buts about it. I guarantee that's what it was. But, there ain't a whole lot more I can say about it in this particular, di this particular reaction. Because, uh... There's not that much more to go off of, other than Twy is going to be helping Athena out on the stand, which is going to be good. But, that's going to have to do it for this one. I do eagerly await getting to the next uh, re video to react to part three of case two. But, uh, hmm. we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens when it happens. What did you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Like if you enjoyed. Comment your favorite part. Subscribe if you're new. Tap the bell to get notified when I upload a video so you don't miss your reactions, gameplay, or otherwise. Also, go check out my Discord. Link is in the description. Speaking of Discord, I wonder when we'll see him in this series. You can go, uh, you can come join post. I have derailed myself. You can join my Discord for all the regular stuff. Visible Lance Corporal Hawk 30, signing off.